Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be adding another papa to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia by pondering over the Inu Inu no Mi Model Wolf. The Inu Inu no Mi Model Wolf is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to become a wolf as well as a human wolf hybrid. It was consumed by the short tempered CP9 agent Jabra and first displayed in a dramatic shadow during the Ennis Lobby arc. All right, well, we've done a couple of these now, including the Dachshund and the Jackal. So you should all be quite familiar with the idea that this fruit takes its broader name from the Japanese word for dog being Inu. Now, as for the model name, it's taken directly from the English word wolf. However, because Japanese is Japanese, that word doesn't quite translate nicely into their various alphabets. And so the closest thing we have have is Udafu. But moving into the English translations, we have another sad state of affairs as Viz, due to the prior establishment of the Inu Inu translation, very much stuck with the Mutt Mutt Fruit Wolf model. However, once again, Funimation rectifies this by going with the perfectly reasonable Dog Dog Fruit Model Wolf. But kicking this off properly, the Inu Inu no Mi Model Wolf is another one of those funky carnivorous soans, meaning that it is particularly well suited to combat and other predatory intentions, owing to the increased instinctual bloodlust felt by the user as a result of consuming the fruit, and furthermore, that the hybrid forms of carnivorous zoans tend to be incredibly huge, much more so than either full human or full beast form. And so the user experiences a significant boost in almost all aspects of physicality before we even get to the benefits of the animal in question, which in this case is a wolf, who are quite notably the largest members of the dog family and are gifted with the fantastic ability to reach top speeds of between 50 to 60 kilometers per hour when running. Although the true power of the wolf lies with its incredible stamina. You see, wolves are very much a marathon style of animal and can travel up to 50 kilometers a day tracking down prey for consumption. And just for some comparison, that would take the average human somewhere between seven to nine hours to walk, depending on your particular speed. So becoming a wolf is pretty damn great from an athletic perspective. Plus there's another huge advantage in the area of scent as wolves have a ridiculous 200 million scent cells, whereas us unenlightened humans have a mere five million. This means that wolves can smell other animals up to 1.6 kilometers away, which would give the user of the Inu Inu no Mi model wolf a phenomenal spatial awareness because who needs observation haki anyway? Now, as for any negative effects, initially when thinking about this fruit, I thought that the greatest attracting factor would be adopting the instinct of a wolf, the same way that all other carnivorous zoans take on the more raw traits of their respective animals. But as it turns out, controlling yourself as a wolf may not be so difficult after all, because despite their popular portrayal as savage beasts, wolves actually have a basic aversion to fighting and are relatively peaceful creatures who only fight when doing so for food or in a particularly desperate circumstance. In addition to this, they also won't generally attack alone, unless it is in the aforementioned desperate circumstances. So hey, being a wolf isn't as savage a lifestyle as I would have thought. But for more on this lifestyle, I think it's time we examine Jabra's use of the fruit, and he definitely represents some of the more stereotypical views of wolves, particularly in regards to the general acceptance that wolves are very deceptive creatures, which we can see on display in stories like Little Red Riding Hood, or even in the saying, a wolf in sheep's clothing. So as a wolf, Jabra quite often lies to his opponents in order to gain any form of advantage he can in battle. Not that he really needs it though, because his wolfian gifts make him quite a force to be reckoned with, especially in conjunction with his mastery of the Rokushiki techniques. His basic forms of Shigan, Rankyaku and Gepo are heavily informed by his added mobility and deadly claws in wolf form. However, his specialist art of Tekai Kenpo also benefits greatly, making Jabra capable of delivering swift and exceptionally powerful blows to opponents. But sad to say that really is pretty much the end of Jabra's use of the wolf form. He is pretty much just a straightforward assassin, very much putting his inner wolf on display there. And should that inner wolf manifest itself completely, then I'd say we'd be looking at a pretty terrifying awakening. Think of a werewolf, except wait, Jabra's human wolf form is already pretty much a werewolf. So uh, think of a really big werewolf. Yes, that'll do. But in all seriousness, being able to awaken the Inu Inu no Mi model wolf may result in one of the most powerful Zoan creatures outside of the ancient and mythical subclasses, especially when speed and stamina are taken into consideration. Here we have a creature of staggering power who in addition to the easy recovery time of awakened Zoans would have the added benefit of wolf stamina, essentially becoming more or less impossible to tire out. It would be just like a giant furry terminator, absolutely relentless. And should you be unfortunate enough to become its target, there is no no help for you. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a werewolf. In addition to their lack of savagery, wolves are deeply social creatures who develop strong bonds and will more often than not very willingly sacrifice themselves for the greater good of the pack. So if you're a noble socialite, this fruit would suit you perfectly. But if you're more of a lone wolf, so to speak, then expect some new conflicting priorities. In becoming a wolf, you should also expect to attain greater control of your eating habits, as wolves are capable of consuming almost 10 kilos of meat in one sitting. However, they are also more than proficient at living on nothing at all. All, with some adults being able to last 12 whole days without food. 
Essentially, I don't see a lot of downsides when it comes to the Inu Inu no Mi model wolf. I'm not the hugest fan of Zoan fruits. I mean, most of my personal favorites are Paramecias, but I can't deny that this one is pretty fantastic, especially for a basic class Zoan. Wolves are absolutely incredible animals, and as such, this devil fruit holds insane potential for anyone lucky enough to stumble across it. The only caveat I would add is that it's certainly suited for people who make or plan to make frequent use of their physicality, such as combatants or athletes. I'm not so sure that the average person would gain enough in their daily life to warrant consuming this over many Paramecias or Logias, but when it comes to basic Zoans, this fruit is first class. And with that, we are going to commit the Inu Inu no Mi model wolf to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, it's one more Zoan, and then we'll step into another class, I promise. But it is certainly a mightily unique one, being the Ushi Ushi no Mi model giraffe. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also, do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Inu Inu no Mi Model Wolf. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.